वेलकम ऑल वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ कुलकर्णी अकेडमी ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग केन टूडे आई टेक अप टॉपिक ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज सरफेस टेंशन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक लेट मी ट्राई माई लेवल बेस्ट Uh, to show you all the things associated with the surface tension what is the origin of surface tension and what is the consequence of surface tension and what is the influence of surface tension let's discuss in detail so one more thing my dear students if concepts are continuous uh, the video may take about uh, uh 30 minutes or so but uh, generally i try to restrict it to 15 20 minutes but please uh, it's a request to all of you kindly if you are viewing or if you are watching please watch completely and don't leave it in the middle so to have a clear concepts chaliye now let us consider a container and in this container let me take a liquid चलो जनरली हम पानी को लेते हैं वाटर ऐसा कोई देर इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट दैट आई टेक वाटर बट ओके एनी एनी लिक्विड नो अब दिस वी हैव एयर ओके नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल अब दिस वी हैव एयर दिस वी कॉल इट एज लिक्विड एयर इंटरफेस okay now let us consider a molecule a which is very much below the surface now this molecule is surrounded by similar molecules i repeat this liquid molecule is surrounded by similar molecules molecules which are on the right they try to pull molecules which are on the left they try to pull molecules which are at the bottom they try to pull and molecules which are at the top they try to pull and these we call it as cohesive forces what are cohesive forces the force of attraction between molecules of similar nature what do we mean by similar nature if you have liquid say oil same oil same oil same oil same oil molecules or if you have water 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 so the force of attraction between molecules of similar nature you call it as cohesive forces if you see the net position of this molecule a they are similar molecules and right left is balanced up down is balanced this and this is balanced this and this is balanced so all these cohesive forces are perfectly balanced and this molecule which is below the surface is absolutely in equilibrium now my dear students and this we call it as sphere of influence this we call it as sphere of influence sphere of influence chalo now let us take a molecule b which is on the surface there is a liquid molecule which i have taken on the surface let's see or rather let us analyze the position of this right molecules they pull left molecules they pull and downward we have similar molecules they try to pull my dear students at the top there are no liquid molecules now we have air the force of attraction between molecules of dissimilar nature is known as addition we have liquid we have air they are dissimilar and this attraction is negligible so when these attractive forces are negligible between this molecule and this the molecule which is at on the surface is under the influence of net downward force it is under the influence of net downward force means molecules which are at the surface 
are under the influence of net downward force that is the cohesive forces are not balanced unbalanced cohesive force unlike these molecules bottom top perfectly balanced but here at the top there are no liquid molecules but you may be asking a question sir there are air molecules now but the attraction between those air and water is negligible that's why it is under the influence of net downward force had this addition been dominant if this addition is also of equal magnitude to this then absolutely it will behave like this but it is not like that so there is a difference between the addition and cohesion that's why this is under the influence of net downward cohesive force and because of this net downward cohesive force or unbalanced cohesive force at the surface these molecules behave differently compared to this just uh, when I take up my regular class, I'll be telling all my students to show your palm like this. Then in my regular offline classes at came. So then I ask them, Dekho, pull this palm. Isko niche pull karo. Pull it. And when you are pulling it, see this, what is happening? It is stretching. When you are pulling it down, Dekho, it is stretching. Means due to this downward pull, this is acting like a stretched membrane. Have you ever seen mosquitoes walking happily on the surface? Actually, when mosquito puts it, its leg, it should go down. But because of that membrane or thin membrane or film, happily it walks as if it is their house. And you do one experiment at home. Take water. Don't disturb it. Fan winds up band kar dena. Take water in a small container, let it settle down. And once it gets settled down, take a small pin and gently put it on the surface. And you'll be seeing a small membrane there. That pin is supported by that membrane. And where are you finding that? Only at the surface. That's why it is known as surface tension. Why tension? Let us see. Okay, it is at the surface. It's quite clear. But why tension? Now, my dear students, I'll show you the beauty here. Let us take, assume this to be a surface. Assume this to be a surface. Below we have water. Above you have air. So this is liquid air interface. So due to unbalanced cohesive force, it is acting like a stretched membrane. Kuch nahi hai, fir se. You pull it down. You pull it down. Isko pull karna. And this is acting. This is acting like a stretched membrane. So now what you do is, listen carefully my dear students, listen carefully. Below we have water, above you have air and this is liquid, don't say this is paper. Hamare regular class mein hamare bachche bolte hai. So what is this when I ask? Paper. Are yaar, we are involving in subject. So it is water, it is air and this is liquid air interface. What you do is, gently you put a pen on this or a needle on this. If you put it, if you put gently, so what is happening? Just say, kya ho ra? something like this, something like this. So I'll show you on this. Have a look at my, this, my dear students. Now, let's understand things in a conceptual manner. Let's understand in a conceptual manner. Have a look at this. This is my paper. Now, I have put a pin on the paper paper ka matlab pe? surface this is my pin originally it was like this and what is this my dear students liquid air interface and afterwards it is becoming something like this yes now you have a question Sir, how is this supported? It's why it is acting in downward direction. Actually, for example, have a look at this. I have this pen and I'll throw it. So when I throw it, it's not staying there. It is falling because there is no support. But when I place a pin on the surface, it's not falling down. Means it is supported. How it is supported? Let's see. Now have a look at this, my dear students. This is the surface. Now I am placing on this. 
तो कैसा हो रहा है इट्स टेकिंग अ शेप समथिंग लाइक दिस इट्स टेकिंग अ शेप इट्स नॉट दैट इट इज एग्जैगरेटेड इट्स समथिंग लाइक दिस देन हाउ फोर्स आर कमिंग लेटर से ये तो सरफेस है अब देखना इट्स लाइक दिस देखो एक बार इट्स लाइक दिस हैव लुक एट दिस सो वेन आई दिस इज माई पेन दिस इज माई पेन वेन आई कीप अ पेन लाइक दिस देखो एक बार वेन आई कीप अ पेन लाइक दिस नाउ इट्स बिकमिंग लाइक दिस इसका मतलब क्या है सो नाउ If you understand thoroughly, the weight is down, and forces are coming like this. Means the vertical component of this force is in upward direction, and that upward force, vertical component of this force, we'll see what is that force. That vertical component of this force is supporting this. मतलब downward upward balance है. That's why it is in equilibrium. and please note down my dear students look at when i place a pin chalo ye pin maan lo when i place a pin it's like this when i place a pin it is like this it is like this dekho it is like this like this like this and these forces are known as surface tension force to so, is force ka you just say is force ka and the vertical component of this force the vertical component of this force if you see my dear students the vertical component the vertical component of this force is supporting the weight supporting the weight and observe carefully and these forces are known as surface tension where are these forces they are in the surface please note down that if you draw a line on the surface and it is acting and if you see my dear students how is this acting it is normal to this line ek line draw kiye it is normal normal to the line so surface tension acts normal to the line drawn on the surface dekho ek bar is line ke liye it is normal it is normal it is normal but how are these forces they are in the plane dekho this normal is not out of the plane so is line ko for to this line this normal is not out of the plane this normal is in the plane so surface tension is a line force line force why do we call it as line force because it is acting along the length it is acting along the length and it is normal to the line so dekho ek baar if this is the line if this is the line if this is the line to this line it is normal so to this line my dear students it is normal dekho ek baar it is normal it is normal to this line it is normal and where are these forces they are in the plane they are in the plane in the plane and why do we call it tension dekho how is this acting ye dono idhar dekhna yes this is in the surface and it is resisting small tensile loads these are tensile loads that's why we call it as what surface tension surface tension so it is a line force and it acts Normal to the line, but how is that? ये forces किस में हैं? These forces are in the plane, in the plane, in the plane, in the plane. So please observe carefully. That's why we express surface tension as force acting per unit length. Force acting per unit length. And you know the force is in newton and length is in meter. So we designate it with sigma. These are my, these are my surface tension forces. If you see, my dear students. it's like this and yes sare these are my surface tension forces and we express it as force per unit length force per unit length now let's understand things quite clearly further let us understand further let's understand chaliye observe here now so dekho is line ko they are perpendicular but they are in the plane in the plane in the plane so matlab ye forces kaha pe hai dekho ek bar how are these forces ये सरफेस है दे आर इन द सरफेस इन द सरफेस एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल इट एज व्हाट सरफेस टेंशन एंड यू नो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू सी फॉर वाटर एयर इंटरफेस एंड व्हेन एवर आई टॉक अबाउट सरफेस टेंशन इट इज अनबैलेंस्ड कोहेसिव फोर्स बेसिकली सो बिटवीन व्हाट यू शुड मेंशन वेरी क्लियरली सिंपली यू शुड इफ यू से सरफेस टेंशन ऑफ दिस इज सो एंड सो गलत you have to mention surface tension of what with respect to what for example if you have water with respect to air at about 20 degree centigrade the surface tension for water air interface is 0.0736 newton per meter oh my god in 1 meter length only 0.0736 
uh, Newton. So if you divide with uh, G, you will get mass, but around 7 grams per 1 uh, meter length, very small, very small. That's why the surface tension is neglected in further fluid mechanics analysis because it's very, very, very small. And let us see the influence of temperature on surface tension. Understand carefully. Look at, you know, surface tension is basically due to unbalanced cohesive force. I repeat, unbalanced cohesive force. And you know, my dear students, with increase in temperature, cohesive forces decrease. Jab aap temperature badayenge, basically surface tension is due to unbalanced cohesive forces. Of course, addition is also there. There is a difference between addition and cohesion. But basically, it is due to unbalanced cohesive force. With increase in temperature, cohesive forces decrease. Jab aap surface tension is basically coming due to cohesive forces, unbalanced cohesive forces. With increase in temperature, cohesive forces are decreasing. When cohesive forces are decreasing, surface tension is basically due to unbalanced cohesive force. When you temperature, when you increase the temperature, cohesive forces are decreasing. When cohesive forces are decreasing, the surface tension will also decrease with increase in temperature. At about 20 degrees, it is 0 0.0736. If you see at about uh, 70 degrees or so for water, it's 0 0.0586. But it's less than and in thermodynamics, we will be studying critical point. And you know, if you study critical point, it is a saturated liquid curve and it is a saturated vapor curve. So this is saturated liquid and this is saturated vapor. And both curves are meeting here. What is critical point? It is very difficult to distinguish between liquid and vapor. So dhyan sa suno. Let us take, uh, we have a closed container. There is water and there is steam. There is water and there is water vapor. There is water vapor. So it is the interface of liquid gas. That is steam is in gaseous state. So interface. Whenever there is an interface, there is a surface tension. But at the critical point, both are same. Liquid and vapor will become same. When they become same, my interface vanishes. I repeat, at the critical point, this interface vanishes. This interface vanishes. It is difficult to distinguish between liquid and vapor. You cannot distinguish. So, ye gayab ho jayega. Jab ye gayab ho jayega, you don't have any interface. When there is no interface, there is no surface tension. That's why at critical point, the surface tension is zero. It is one of the important points in surface tension. It is one of the important points. So, jab temperature increase hota hai, the surface tension decreases. And at critical point, it is very difficult to distinguish between liquid and vapor. Hence, the surface tension is zero at the critical point. Because you cannot distinguish between liquid and vapor. So whenever you cannot see the uh, interface, you cannot uh, uh, tell about the surface tension. Now, why do we use warm water while washing clothes? The reason is again, garam pani ki istemal karte hai. When I use warm water, look at, if you see the, my dear students, if you see the microstructure of cloth, my cloth is woven like this. Agar aap, Cloth ka microstructure thinking it will be something like this. the threads are woven like this. Now look at this is let us say this is dust accumulated in the pores. These are the dust particles and these are pores. Pores ka matlab holes. Okay. Now when you soak this in water, pani me duba diye kabre ko. So solid is different. Liquid pani is liquid. Solid is different. So whenever there is a uh, interface. There will be surface tension between liquid gas. Between whenever there is a difference in surface, matlab cohesive force, ye to rahega. So due to surface tension, a membrane is formed. So when membrane is formed, water cannot penetrate into the pores. When water cannot penetrate, the dust cannot go. Agar aap garam kar rahe, if you heat, the surface tension decreases. When surface tension decreases, there is nothing like film. And when there is no film, my water can penetrate and you can remove these dust particles. When this dust is removed, chakka chak safedi is obtained. And we use surfactants and detergents again to reduce the surface tension. And in my next video, I will be telling you why droplets are spherical with a beautiful with beautiful models. And there itself, I'll be explaining the applications of surface tension. Thank you for watching. And my next video, it is a continuation of this video on surface tension. So please do watch and share your comments. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.